What is one half minus one third? In the previous video, we talked about needing to find the least common denominator. That's correct, the LCD. Now this is a big word, the denominator. But the good news is the... Correct, and it is the smallest number that two and three go into. Hezzy's absolutely right. In the previous video, we talked a lot about this. We have a half, and we want to subtract a third. But we can't do this. We can't subtract a half and a third. Why? Because the half are like bananas, and the thirds are like apples. They're different fruits, and you can't add bananas and apples. Bananas! But you can convert them so that they are the same. Step one, you look for multiples of two. No, that is not step two. Multiples of two, two, four, six, so on and so forth. Multiples of three, three, six, no. Oh, look at that. Hezzy was correct. Mash, right? Hezzy was correct. The smallest number that's in both lists. Just like I said at first time. That's right. It's six. And so you convert these two fractions into six. One half is how many sixths? And then we're gonna subtract one third, which is how many sixths? Can I see the sixths? You may use the sixths fractions. Okay, two goes into six three times. And so that means we have three ones up here. Woohoo! Three sixths. I need to use my color convention correctly. We have three ones upstairs. Oh, Hezzy's doing a substitution. Excellent job. Three goes into six two times, so we have two ones over here. So what we're doing is we are, as Hezzy correctly illustrated, we're subtracting now, oops, wrong one. We are subtracting now sixths. I have three sixths and I take away two sixths. So if I do that, if I take away two sixths here, what's left over? One sixth. Correct, Hezzy. Well done, very good. Give yourself a polite golf clap, yes. I need one sixth of a cup of flour. We don't have a sixth measuring cup. Well, what do we have, Copernicus? We have a half, we have a third, and we have a quarter. Perfect. Let's look at another example. We're gonna do two thirds minus a quarter. <gasps> are they the same denominators? No. They are not equal. Hey, it's Pirate Sam. Hey, Pirate Sam, thanks for helping us out. Let's subtract. Step one, though, we need to find the LCD of three and four. So we need to look at multiples of three, and we need to look at multiples of four. <gasps> Pirate Sam says it's 12. Let's see why. We've got three, six, nine, 12. Okay, we'll stop, because he thinks it's 12, so we'll stop there. Four, we have four, eight, 12, those are multiples of four, and bada boom, bada bing, Pirate Sam is absolutely correct. 12 is the smallest number in both lists. Thanks, Pirate Sam. Thanks, Pirate Sam. So we have twelfths that we are subtracting now. Okay, how many twelfths are in two thirds? Or rather, I should say, haha, <laughs> how many twelfths are two thirds? That's what we're doing here. So Hezzy's gonna get the blocks for us and help us see what's going on. Now, three goes into 12 four times. So you're going to multiply the numerator here two by four. That's what's going on. And then four goes into 12 three times. So you're going to multiply the numerator one here boop, by three. So what are you doing here, gang? You are multiplying, you're getting eight, and then you're multiplying, and you're getting three. So this is simply eight minus three. And these are twelfths. Two thirds equals eight twelfths. Yes, sir. So this is going to be eight minus three, or five twelfths. Smash, eh? Five twelfths, eh? Yeah. This episode is brought to you by Snacks. Don't leave home without them. He's saying two thirds is equal to eight twelfths, and then he's saying one quarter is three twelfths. Smash, eh? So now you're subtracting three twelfths. 
So take away three twelfths here, and how many twelfths do you have left over? Do 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 do. One, two, three, four, five, five twelfths. Pause, rewind, or fast forward if you need to. Remember, you can join the Greater Gators class for more content. Ask your parents to go to the link below. We'll see you next time. Yar, har, 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 har. One third minus one six. Yar, har, 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 har. Let's do the subtraction. Well, we've seen this before that the LCD of three, the least common denominator of three and six. Six. Very good, Pirate Sam. Very good. Wait a second here. Hmm. Have we already done this problem? No, let's press on. LCD of three and six, that's gonna be six. It's the smallest number that both numbers divide into. Five, four, three. Remember, the least common denominator is the smallest number that both numbers can divide into evenly. Let's convert. You're right, Pirate Sam. So we're gonna convert one third into how many sixths? And then we're gonna subtract a sixth. One half minus one third is one sixth. Why? Because one half is three sixths and one third is two sixths. So when you take away two from three, all you get is one sixth. Allow me to illustrate. We have a half or three sixths take away one third Why? or two sixths. Go. Take this part away. And what's left over? One sixth of a cup. Well, three goes into six two times. Yar, har, har, har. So we have two times this one here. That's what we're doing. And two ones, that's just two, so two minus one, we just end up with one six. Yeah. One six. Very good. Yeah, har, 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 har. P down first. All right, you've got one third. That's clearly the same thing as two sixths. So you substitute, and then you're going to subtract the sixth here. So take away the six from the 